In today's discussion, we are going to solve quadratic equation using a quadratic formula. The first thing we need to know is the standard form for quadratic equation. So the standard form for quadratic equation is we have we have a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero. What you notice here is that a is partner to x squared, b is partner to x, and c is the constant. So let's try an example. What if we have what if we have two x squared plus five x plus six is equal to zero. Our a here is equal to two because two is the one who partner to x squared. So we have two. Our b here the one who partner to x is five. So we have five. And our c is the one who are constant. Or who is or who which are rather a constant. So six. So let's try another example. What if we have x squared x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Our a here is the one who part which is partner to x squared which is 1 because we have an invisible 1 here. So our b here, the one which is partner to x, is equal to 3. And our c here is the constant, which is equal to 2. Why I give an emphasis these letters, or these corresponding values of the letters for a quadratic equation, or for the standard form of the quadratic equation? Because we are now dealing with a quadratic formula. So let's take a look on this quadratic formula. So our quadratic formula is... x equals negative b plus or minus radical sign b squared minus 4ac over 2a. That's why it is very important for you to know the value of the corresponding letters for you to just simply substitute it on the given formula. So now, let's try example for you to get this. Let's try this. What if we have x squared e plus 6x plus 
equals to 0. Our a here is equal to 1 because it is the one which is partner to x squared. Our b here, the one which is partner to x is x. And our c here is constant, which is the 8. Now, let's just simply substitute it on our quadratic formula. So, x equals, so negative b, we have b here which is 6, so we have negative 6, plus or minus, so b squared, so we have 6 squared, minus 4, times the value of a, which is 1, the value of a which is 1 then we have the value of c here which is 8 all over 2 times 1 2a which is 1 so let's solve we have negative 6 plus or minus 6 squared is 36. Then 4 times 1 is 4 times 8 is 32. So minus 32. Then we have 2 here. So we can now go here. So, let's solve again. We have neg negative 6 plus or minus 36 minus 32 is 4. Then, we have 2 here. We all know that the square root of 4 is 2. So, we have this 2 value. x equals negative 6 plus or minus 2 all over 2. Now, we can split positive or negative so we have two values of x here the first one we have x equals negative 6 plus 2 over 2 and the second one we have x equals negative 6 minus 2 over 2 so we can solve here negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 Divided by 2 is negative 2. On the other side, we have negative 6 minus 2, negative 8. Divided by 2 is negative 4. So here is the value, or here are the value of x. Here, using the quadratic formula. Now, let's try another example. What if we have two x squared plus eight x plus six is equal to zero? So the first thing is, the first thing we need to know is to get the values of a, b, and c. So our a here is 2, our b here is 8, and our c here is 6. So now, let's solve it using the quadratic formula. So, x equals negative b plus or minus radical sign. We have b squared. Sorry, it's just a b squared. b squared 
minus 4ac over 2a. So, substitute the values. We have negative b, which is 8 here. So, we have negative 8 plus or minus. So, b squared, 8 squared minus 4 times the value of a is 2. And the value of C is 6. Divide all over 2 times the value of A, which is 2. Then solve it. We have negative 8 plus or minus 8 squared is 64. 4 times 2 is 8. Then times 6 is we have 48. all over 4 so we can solve it we have negative 8 plus or minus we have 64 minus 48 is square root of 16 over 4 then we can have x equals negative 8 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. All over 4. So we can split now the positive negative sign. So we have two values of x. We have negative 8 plus 4 over 4 on the other hand we have x equals negative 8 minus 4 over 4 so we have negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1 so, our first value of x is x is equals to negative 1. So, on the other hand, we have negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. Divided by 4 is negative 3. So, our second value of x is negative 3. Now, let's try our last example. What if we have x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. So our a here first need to get the values of letters a, b, and c. So our A here is 1, our B here is negative 5, and our C here is 3. So now let's, have, let's write the quadratic formula. So we have x equals negative B plus or minus B squared minus 4ac over 2a so let's substitute the values so uh, we have negative b so our negative b here is negative 5 so negative times negative is positive so we have positive 5 plus or minus negative 5 squared 
minus four times the value of a is one and the value of c is three. So divide it by two times the value of a is one. Now let's solve the value. We have we have five plus or minus. So let's solve negative five times negative five is twenty five. Negative four times one is negative four times three, negative twelve. Over two times one is two. So we have now five plus or minus square root of thirteen over two. So as you notice here, thirteen is a not a perfect square, so it doesn't have square root. So what we do is just simply split the value or just simply split the positive or negative here. So our values for x is x equals 5 plus square root of 13 over 2. And the second one 5 minus square root of 13 over 2. So that's our final answer. I hope you learned something. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching.